how's it? Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii. It's a movie review. <laughs> I'm gonna review the movie Godzilla X King Kong. And I was always a Godzilla fan. I was never quite the King Kong fan, you know. I mean, there's the old movie, and then there was the new releases, and the sympathy for King Kong, and he's get the girl, and all that King Kong. And then there's uh, Godzilla movies. I mean, when I was a kid, we had a drive-in movie theater. I like driving. And I hear you. I hear you too. I got the ghost box going. Cause I, I, I hope to do this movie a good review, but this is going to be tough. This movie is like a yes and a no. <laughs> I'm not going to over relate it to uh, A, B, C, D. But <clears throat> there was a drive in movie theater, and we'd all jump in. Disrespectful. Disrespectfully dump into this, you know, station wagon, Woody. Woody. Um, Mercury station wagon, and we'd go to the drive in movies. And mom and dad would take us all the kids to the drive in movies. And it was early enough to get the actual King Kong move. No, excuse me. Mm. Never saw King Kong. The actual Godzilla movies, the 50s ones that were shown, Godzilla movies in Honolulu. And these were the early ones. I mean, when the first movie, Godzilla's a monster stomping on Tokyo. Hey, ho, there goes Tokyo. Go, go, Godzilla. They should have that. Blue Oyster Cult song. They don't have that Blue Oyster Cult stuff going on with Godzilla. Splashing down, looking in buses and tearing them down. Go, here goes Tokyo. Because Godzilla in the first movie was a monster, a bad one, stomped all over Tokyo. It was right after 1945 with the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the atomic age and radiation scare and fallout and oh, and, and look what radiation does. Radiation's so bad it makes monsters and they come and destroy the city. The folly of man, as the boys took out some of those. But um, this was early Godzilla. And then Godzilla movies were, um, you know, there was another monster that terrorized Tokyo. And um, Godzilla comes up to the rescue and fights the other monster. So now Godzilla is a good guy, from bad guy to good guy. And then Godzilla, woo, and then there was another monster, and there's Mothra, and then there's Rodan, and, and, and Godzilla would champion and battle the other monsters and um i you know and then there was another movie and then there was like these little fairies and this little girl and the girl spoke to mothra the big moth monster and then it was like started to suck <laughs> alexander you're a little boy i'm a boy going let's see godzilla stomp on the city <laughs> And uh, there's like little moth around. And I was like, wow, this is too slow. And then, uh, then there was more monsters, and then more monsters, and then there was a planet X where monsters came from outer space. And then there were so many monsters. There's one with the Hydra heads and stuff. And then it was battle all monsters. And these are all like black and white. So you go to the drive-in movies, right? <laughs> black and white movie. Ah! And no, some of them were color. And one of them had uh, that actor in his house. And there was all these monsters. There was just like this whole plethora of monsters. And, and, and Godzilla was kind of more like, eh, and then Mothra, the little head in the little psychic girl. And uh, yeah, so yeah, that's um, old Godzilla. And it was cool. And had, Godzilla had this theme. I found the theme one time and I couldn't play it because it's copyrighted. Maybe that is one we would but this one melds Godzilla and King Kong. It's like the WWF fighting movie. Who's going to win? Spoiler alert. I'll tell you who won. <laughs> no. But there's lots of spoiler alerts for this because I'm going to try this other uh, way of doing things here. Um, I, I, I'm just going to show you flashes of this 
of this movie. So, okay, w- one thing about this movie is that um, move it, it. <laughs> move it. It starts off right. Hits it hits the ground running 100%. Action, action, action. I mean, there's just boom. It has all the monsters in it, so to speak, and more because you have this. Um, Come over here. This uh, Lord of the Rings hierarchy of monster stuff from Godzilla Land, kind of like a, 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 a Rwanda Middle Earth gorilla thingy going on, and uh, King Kong has to be king of these the tyrannical. It almost has the flavor. It has the flavor of lots of different movies. It has a flavor of little uh, um, Lion King in there, and there's a there's a little baby um uh king kong and that's kind of gollum ish table character <laughs> sometimes you see what i'm talking about this is gonna be a difficult thing and it, there's so much stuff i mean i've had notes and stuff like this okay so um there's an there's a sense of avatar with these bird-like creatures you know the big uh flying reptile bird and avatar there's like those in here there's um there's a hollow earth of okay, all of a sudden there's the earth is hollow and all the stuff is inside the earth instead of like coming from... <sighs> and then there's uh uh oh uh, what oh oh and then, then there's characters i'm like bernie bernie sanders no <laughs> there's a guy named bernie i think he's a podcast guy who's in there and he had one of these cameras that I kind of do too. So it has like a lot of modern stuff. It's like the CEOs that get together and say, how are we going to make a successful franchise in one movie? And then they stuffed everything in this movie, trying to make a complete franchise out of a single movie. It's like that feel to it. And there's so much action. And we saw it on IMAX. So they paid a little extra. So you can pick your seat. Please stop. You don't need to see it on IMAX because my friend got a headache after the movie. It was so loud. You have infra, boo, sub, woof, and uh, Dolby upon Dolby, massively loud. I mean, I had um, about four. It's warm. <laughs> four warnings of over 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 decibel over uh, audio warnings on my watch. <laughs> There's just a ton, and it's action nonstop. So at first, this is like, whoa, this is super cool. They're not fooling around. It's like, boom, and all of a sudden you get this middle earth thing, and then the spaceships, and the blue, 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 and then the King Kong, and this. Here. And then they have the girl. Okay, so there's girl power wrapped up into the story. So this little girl who's deaf, and she's like, uh, and then she just feels like she doesn't belong. And her mom's like, oh, oh, you belong to me, and I belong to you. Everything together, we do, do. And there's this kind of uh, sympathetic uh, character of this little girl who's kind of psychic because she belongs to this evil devil. tribe, the devil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for your comments. And and uh, this Ewe tribe that she doesn't know but she belongs to it so she's psychically connected to these warnings and these spikes that come up in electrical interference from middle earth or hollow earth or whatever and um she's uh, a connection and she can talk to kong in the sign language because she's you know in hearing impaired so she does sign language and it reminds me of coco the gorilla that they taught sign language to so they have Coco the gorilla coming out of King Kong. They have King Kong's like little uh, sidekick, Baby Kong, which is these Kong. The, the Baby Kong is like sixty foot tall because you see the King Kong world and there's little trees and little birds and things. Ah, oh, gosh, but it's very very scenic. So there's lots to say for the movie. There's tons and tons of CGI scenic. It's a it's w- called world creation. Rapid boom, 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 world creation. Here comes a spaceship. They're in Middle Earth. They go down, boom, 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 the psychic things. And the little girl's like, oh, we got to take the little girl in the spaceship that goes inside the Earth. Axe. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to axe. I don't know how to really um, review a lot of this because there's stuff. So I'm going to try something else. And I hope I didn't get copyrighted off the union. I'm just going to show you some stills because <laughs> I took Godzilla. <clears throat> 
Now, he's my hero. I was, I was hoping he'd win the fight. <laughs> and there's King Kong. Now, King Kong is, of course, he has a lot of expressions in the face. The CGI stuff is wonderful. He goes out into the jungle and there's like, oh, it's this weird looking frog that makes a King Kong sound. Oh, false alarm. And then, and, and there's like monsters. Okay. So there's this thing that's hitting up uh, Rome and um, Godzilla is on the alert because he's like the battle guy that, um, um, and this is like, look, look, this is like during the credits. This is opening credit stuff. And this is IMAX, major CGI, major 90 decibel stuff. And, then, and so Godzilla's out there and he's charged up and he gets the monster from Tokyo. And then, oh, look, our equipment that we monitor Middle Earth. It's all like wacko. And then there's this chick that's, um, this is the main um, lady. That's the mother of the, the young girl. And she's like the main protagonist, I think. Foolish. And she's like, I am the person who knows about this stuff in the Middle Earth. I mean, center of the whatever. This, the, the Earth is hollow. And then Godzilla, oh, you know, the Colosseum makes a good doggy bed for me. So I, he wakes up from the Colosseum. Oh, boy. And then he's trancing through um, uh, Rome because, you know, he's got to go somewhere. And everyone's like, oh, my gosh, and Godzilla's on the loose. And then this little girl's like finding some type of psychic powers. And then King Kong comes awake. But King Kong has a toothache. <laughs> so he comes out of the middle of the earth and he's like, oh, I'm sick. And um, they, they bring this guy in. There's a spaceship. It's in, uh, so King Kong is sick. And this is the introduction. See, he's got a bad tooth. They come and they pull his tooth. And they introduce this one character. What the heck is this guy's name? I forget. Ding Dong. Married. What? Married? No, I don't know. It's Ding Dong. Um, this guy is, um, I don't know, Travis or something. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but he's, he's a cool character. And as soon as they introduce like the cool stuff, they'll throw in a song it's like dun, 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 dun. so the spaceship comes in oh yeah dun, dun, dun. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. he's gonna be the tooth guy and he's like doo, 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 doo. And, oh look it's so cool and this actually is pretty cool so he meets her and it's like the i guess love interest and he, kong gets a, a a steel tooth and he's like yeah i'm so cool <laughs> and then there's a girl oh i'm feeling the vibrations because in my head i i hear kong and then i do sign language to king kong oh he's and then there's a the podcast guy who he is pulled out of his uh uh podcast hole and he's on the ship and then of course the captain of the ship is this scottish guy with a really gruff scottish action <laughs> and then there's a like cool guy Dorf, dorfus and dingo and i don't know and they go inside middle earth oh look go inside this freaking middle earth and oh look on this king kong and there's all kinds of weird stuff inside because uh oh this and that and then, and then they're inside and there's all this um wonderful um scenic stuff so one thing about this is there's a lot of scenic stuff so if you want to go to a movie with tons of cgi scenic stuff and tons of cgi action this is it um yeah so uh and then so they're inside the movie and all the monsters wake up. Godzilla's like, oh, look, I, I got Godzilla power. And he gets attacked, but Godzilla wins. And then there's this little freaking, I don't know, this cuckoo um, ape. It's like a baby ape who's kind of like the golem. Uh, he, he takes uh, Godzilla. He's like, oh, and uh, he, 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 I don't know. He, okay, Godzilla battles the, the underground apes and he kind of wins. And, and this little baby ape is like, oh, he escapes. And... Um, uh, and Godzilla's like, oh, befriends him. And then there's like these monster apes with black, uh, red paint. And then they're like, like the evil apes, like kind of uh, Lord of the Ring-ish kind of thing. And and um, and, the, and this guy's like uh, kissing a bubble. No, because <laughs> they find they find this other place with this energy inside, and it turns into Mothra land. <laughs> it's like, oh, and then all, all of a sudden the people down underneath there too. And then um, there's people. And then they, inside the uh, uh, inner hollow earth thing, and it's like, oh, see, see this cloud on the top. I mean, not the cloud. It's, the, it's the, and, and then and then the little the little freaky uh, baby Godzilla takes God. Uh, not, no, baby uh, King Kong. See, I'm gonna mix this up. The baby King Kong takes the big King Kong over to the lake. Oh, drink some fresh water. And there's a dragon in there, and um, so he's kind of like this little golem, like a like a. Uh, 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 she told me. Uh, she told me. And then he has to battle this other monster. And then there's another monster. And then it's like this girl has to come in and and, um, and save the day. It's kind of, kind of like girl power. And then they go down to this uh, thing and they get abducted by the tribe of Iwi people. 
So there's a podcast guy, and there's tooth uh, 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 extracting, and then there's the ecologist lady for mit, for uh, in a, a hollow earth. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, then the Ewe people. And then they they, they they talk to um, Mothra and Mithra. And, <laughs> and this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. There's a suspension bridge, and it's a skeleton. Now this is the, this is you know it's it's cool, but it's like slowed down. And then of course there's like old petroglyphs that show the, the history <laughs> and all these because they need backstory. So they have petroglyphs, and they flash back to this backstory stuff of all these horrible apes that come by. And this guy who's like was like a double crosser it turns out to be kind of actually helping kong in the end so he has his his, his little character arc belongs in and then godzilla i mean king kong gets mad <laughs> and then there's the bad ape because he has to battle the bad ape now he has this like um whip with this little uh knife glowy crystal blade at the end and this whip is made out of um uh uh, uh a vertebrae a spinal column you know, and he whips this thing around. There's a little, little spiky thing that controls this other dragon. So when he spiky has this whip, spiky whip thing, and he whips this whip around, I don't understand because they use this um, this trope of a spinal column whip, and the other one is Aaron. a spinal column used as a chain. I I don't I don't see how spinal columns can hold together like a chain. So they have this um the frost um, Godzilla um, second type of Godzilla monster. It's kind of like a frost one. It's just like a dragon and then Godzilla's like, oh, I'm the hot dragon. He's like the cold dragon. And, 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 um, uh, what is, whatever. Tom. <laughs> Tom. Tom, help me. <laughs> Calling Tom Cruise. Help me out. And Godzilla's pissed off because he's, he has to get, um, um King Kong has to get, um, a prosthetic, um, because he, he got his hand frosted and, and it hurt so king kong was hurt again and so the girl um with psychic power she um gets um mothra so it, it's like the old um storyline of um king kong and they go to egypt and like you know come on we gotta go to middle earth i mean um not middle earth hollow earth i'm sorry toki and so i'm just so sorry they threw everything in this movie possible so king kong with his um frozen fist has to um help uh king uh godzilla uh understand that he's got to go with mothra down into the hollow earth to battle all the bad guys <sighs> but godzilla already went to the side and he took a sucked up a big dose of radiation so now he's like extra charged and pissed and then there's the frost monster and then there's like the you bad, are funny the bad ape guy and then there's a the good ape guy king kong with his tooth and then they clash in the battle of titans so this this is the kind of thing i mean um it's it's computer game on steroids up on imax theater and it's um uh i, I let, let me let me just say that. my friend had a headache after this movie it was so loud and it was imax imax please listen tons of frames a second and um you know you might want to not see it on imax <laughs> <laughs> and maybe sit back a little bit. If you really like um, computer um, action, the CGI stuff, and everything thrown in there, and you have like elements of Avatar and elements of Lion King and elements of whatever, um, uh, all these other movies seem to kind of have these little elements pushed into this movie. And it's like. Change. Yeah, change. Change. Uh, change. Okay, and and so the battle go, continues, and and they go up and destroy Rio de Janeiro, and and that's that's cool. <laughs> I mean, it, it, when it comes to monster battles, there's tons of them, and uh, it's it's uh, and they save the world because obviously it would destroy everything. So basically, all these monsters with the EV people are saving the world. And this little girl is part of this tribe now, and now she can be like um, emperor, empress. She's kind of like so. It's kind of Dunish in a way for girl power. Dunish. <laughs> he comes in today, and Mothra's spinning webs, and, and Godzilla's like, "Okay, I saved the world, so now I'm gonna go sleep in the Colosseum again because it's a nice, comfy doggy bed." And these guys are like, "Yeah, man, uh, I'm back to the ape world, and I got." Uh, 
cool dragon Godzilla, uh, frost Godzilla on our side, and I got this new arm and a new tooth and little Gollum uh, uh, betrayer baby. It's kind of like um, kind of like Mitchell Connell. He just goes back and forth. I can't speak. <laughs> and, and they're all good. And it's time to uh, okay, okay, stop, stop, stop already. <laughs> it's the, that's it. Time to stop. That's how the movie is too. It's like boom, boom, boom. Action, action, action. So if you want to, if you're there for that, it's perfect. It's like B plus A minus for that stuff. It's so much of that. I don't ever see the movie Transformers where there's so much action. It's like what the hell just happened? I can't follow it. If they just slow down, so you see all this action, and then all of a sudden you see the actors, the live actors, are like, yeah, man, you know, I think Godzilla's hungry. Maybe I can get that spaceship and come back and uh, fix his hand with the. Yeah, that'd be cool. So like these little slow things, or in they're walking through the forest, and and the one guy's like, "What does he say?" He says something like, uh, "I don't want to do this uh, uh, the, this thing." Uh, 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 just a second, the, the the trapper guy. That's the name of the alien. trapper guy. Built in that thing is See, it's uh, uh, I don't see, I don't see. Well, I am. Um, no, I. A subterranean static skeptic. Yeah, I see, I got too much notes. And the, 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 the gruff guy's like, I'm not going to sit in here for this. Uh, you know, you're too bit. And then he gets eaten by the stump of a tree, and it's like, whoa! And they could have made more of that. The guy, the pod guy, the podcast guy, um, Bernie, is like, a, he's like with his little camera, too. So it has a little. Things and they should expose. Oh, get into the picture of my podcast with the EV people. And he's like, Don't you think the world, this is a perfect world down here. It's pristine and untouched. Don't you think that exposure to the real world, it, it's just going to ruin them? They have these little moments, but they're like fast. <laughs> and then the, the tree, tree eats the guy fat. And they could have built more, more, more slow, slow parts, parts for, for people to act in because it needs the slow part because there's like so much blue, 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 blue. and then the guy's like well um i'm doing the podcast thing here <laughs> <He's like, laughs> oh, they should have these small anyways when you see little moments like that you're like <gasps> you get to take a breath and then there's like oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so i don't know what to give this movie i mean it's a uh, it's a it's 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 a lot of act. It's like it's a whole lot of a whole lot, okay. And um, it's worth seeing if you like that major action because there is tons of monsters, tons of battles, tons of layers to story upon. But it's not layers of story upon story. It's layers of layers of world building stuffed into one. So it's like whoa. And it's like they're trying to make a. a a multi-motion picture franchise of this one thing. So it's not Godzilla versus King Kong. It's Godzilla X King Kong. So Godzilla times King Kong. Like multiplication. Like battle all monsters. It's that. Keep recording. Keep recording. No, we're not going to keep recording. That's it. it was, Later. I would give it, um, um, I don't know. Uh, it depends. And if you like that kind of stuff, it's kind of more like B+. Plus. And if, if uh, like my friend, it's like, it's just too much. You kind of, you kind of shut out. You kind of shut down. It's like, uh, uh. <laughs> But there's a lot of stuff. So I'm, I'll, I'm, I'm going to give it a B plus or minus. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. It's, it's, it's worth seeing. It's about two hours long. Uh, really not. I wish they had used the theme song. Yeah, they got to the theme song. Ding, 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 ding. Energy. Energy. Okay. Have a great day. Aloha. <laughs>